Let's get into real problem science. How are you gonna stop P splashback? Anthony here for D News and quantum computing, superconductors, brain mapping. None of this stuff is gonna get rid of the supremely disgusting feeling of your own urine bouncing back at you or onto the floor of your bathroom, or even worse, a public bathroom. You might laugh, but it is seemingly unstoppable. Men everywhere are cursed by their families and significant others for having poor aim, when really, it's almost completely unavoidable. How do we clear our good names? Thank God researchers at Brigham Young University are looking into ways to stop our long nightmare. They call themselves the Splash Lab, and they take this research very seriously. They built a urination simulator to fire water at bowls from different directions and angles to observe precisely what happens when you go. That it might seem like overkill, but when your other option is to go observe in the field, I think they made a good decision. Using a high-speed camera, they found out that something called the Plateau Rayleigh instability is causing these tiny droplets of heartache. Basically, a male urine stream breaks up into droplets about six to seven inches after it leaves the urethra. So by the time it hits a bowl or a urinal, it is a scatter shot of random pellets. And those random splashes cause the pants, the shoes, and the toilet rims of the world to be as nasty as we all know them to be. Why do we need to know this? Well, splashback can cause serious spread of sickness. Splashing toilet water back onto you or standing on a floor with a tiny puddle on it can spread bacteria like crazy. And detergents could actually compound the spread of germs because the solvents in them reduce the surface tension of water. This is important stuff. Plus, it's just icky, man. It's icky and gross. So how can we lower the chances of splashback? Based on their precise measurements, the Splash Lab says you need to get as close to the surface of the toilet or urinal as possible. So sitting down to pee greatly reduces the splash chances even though you're closer to the water because standing puts you five times further away, which adds to that scatter shot effect. The team also says to try to change your angle of attack. The closer you get to a 90 degree angle to the bowl water or the urinal wall, the more likely you are to get intense splash damage. They recommend standing slightly to one side of the apparatus and aiming down, which will also make you look super normal and not creepy in a public restroom. The other conclusion they came to, we build toilets wrong. Porcelain is hydrophilic. Water spreads across it easily, causing a larger puddle to splash into. This is valuable information, people. I know Mars colonization is sexier, but this improves the quality of our actual everyday lives. I personally like to use what I call the reverse lactrodectus ambush when peeing in a public stall. That's where I climb to the top like Spider-Man and I pee straight down from a height of 12 to 15 feet. I know this is dumb science, but I like dumb science. If you like dumb science, uh, I actually have a new dumb science show with Tara Long that you may want to watch. It's called Hard Science. It's youtube.com slash hard science show and we do things like build hoverboards so people can race us around on hoverboard chariots with horse masks. Tell me you don't like that. So go check that out and subscribe here for more D News.